Before we do the other equations, let's take a look at 4.3 first. So we have increased the mass of the ball. We want you to draw a graph on the same set of axes. So these are the two options. Is the graph above the original or below the original? Let me know in the comment section which of the two options you had. Was your graph above the original or was it below the original? Let me know in the comment section. All right, that is 4.3. Let's take a look at what's happening. 4.2.1, calculate the average net force acting on the ball. So, 2026, take a look at the question statement and go through it in order for you to understand what is happening. 2025, final exam, we want the solution. We're not going to go through the question statement. Right, so in this situation, what I always advise when you have a graph is for you to derive an equation for the graph. In this instance, you need to use F net is equals to delta P over delta T. Of which when you cross multiply, you're going to get delta P being equals to F net delta T. Delta P is P final minus P initial. And that is equals to F net delta T. So P final as it is our Y axis, uh, our Y value rather on the Y axis will be equal to F net delta T plus PI. So this is the Y, the M, the X, the C. 4.2.1 says calculate the average net force. So the net force therefore is equal to the gradient. So the net force is going to be equal to Let's find the gradient between these two points. That will be 4.5 minus 0 divided by 0 0.03 minus 0 0.01. That is 225 newtons. Right. And then 4.2.2, we are looking for the magnitude of the initial velocity. So we can find the magnitude of the initial velocity from the initial momentum. Right. So we then need to take our equation and find the initial momentum. So P final, F net delta T plus the initial momentum. So the initial momentum is right there. It's our C, right? So now we need to pick a final momentum and its corresponding value. We can pick 0 or 4.5. It We would get the same answer. If we pick 0, we would have the, finest, uh, the final momentum being equal to 0. F net being 225 as it is average, it is constant, right? Delta T is 0 0.01 plus P initial. So minus 2.25 will be close to P initial. But the reason why we're looking for P initial is for us to find the initial velocity. The mass of the object is 150 divided by 1000 multiplied by VI. So VI is equals to 15 meters per second just basic math so that is the answer to 4.2.2 but don't forget my equation in 4.3 is your graph above the original or below in the comment section just say above or just say below let's see what people have as the answers to 4.3 again if you want notes past papers that will help you understand the chemistry that you are writing on monday to this level Go to allpasspapers.com. Geography, life sciences, and all these other subjects are also available. Here we go.